going on, Richie Morgan? Hey, what's up, man? Doing well this week? Sorry? Are you doing well this week? Doing good. Yeah, happy to be here. Have you, you've never fought in Chicago before? No, right? first time here. Yeah. I'm looking forward to fighting here now on Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. You're uh, pretty excited to get back in there. I can't wait. You know what I mean? It's time to start climbing the ranks now. So I've got a ranked opponent. So I was trying to beat this guy and go from there beat the next guy. Yeah, he's a guy I think uh, maybe not a lot of people are jumping at the opportunity to fight. He's got an undefeated record right now. He's, he's looked pretty good from what we've seen. So I guess. Uh, when you got that name, was there any hesitation to, to sign the dotted line? No, there wasn't. I think anybody. I literally got his name sent and I replied straight away saying yes. So it was, you're here for everybody. I'm here to pick pounds away for everybody and get the belt. That's my main goal in this sport. You're taking on a tough test. You obviously have the opportunity to uh, you know, get the reward as well on the other side of it, fighting the right guy, like you said. So um, talk to me about how big you think this moment is for you and your career in Bellator. Um, well, the fact that I'm in America, like they're obviously putting time into me and they're bringing me over here, and like I fought there recently in the three arena, so like it's all to play for now. You know, I want mean? to keep coming back. I have to beat these guys to keep coming back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Friday night. I'm gonna beat this guy, and then sit down and revise what's next. The matchup itself. Um are you a guy that like, watches a lot of tape on your opponent? Do you kind of have your coaches do that? Um, I don't watch too much. I watched his last fight versus Vigil. He was only as good as your last fight, so we watched that fight, and then we're going to go off of that. Yeah, what did you think of that performance? Uh, how good did he look in that? Yeah, they, 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 but it they, they was good. It was, it was kind of like a kickboxing match, pretty much, with a little bit of grappling, but it was an MMA fight on Friday night. All skills have been involved. For you, I guess, um, what do you think fans should expect to see out of you in this one? Me going forward, as always. As they go forward from the start, the bell goes. Is it nice? Uh, you know, I just asked uh, Carl the same question, but I know you guys love fighting at home, and the energy there is awesome. But is it once in a while? Is it, does it feel? Um, do you enjoy kind of breaking that a little bit and fighting somewhere where you can just kind of focus on the fight, not the you know my friends are going and that whole aspect of it? It doesn't really make a difference where it is. I mean, it's a fight. It's a fight. So, like a weigh in the day before, a fight the day after, doesn't make a difference where it is. I want to get paid the same regardless where it's Dubner here. Hey, what's um, up? Hi. Just, just kind of going off that, um, how different is fight week when you're not at home? Is it easier? You don't have as much obligation? Do you kind of prefer being a little bit away? Um, well, this is my first time being away with Bellator. But it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's the identical, pretty much. Like we go to hotel, fight week as well, back in Dublin, even though we live local. So it's pretty much identical to me. Richie, you, you know, kind of talked a lot about you know, fighting over here, but Back home, there's been such a huge rise in Irish MMA, as you know, because you're a part of it. Carl, you and Carl are here, only two guys here. It says a lot about how Bellator looks at you and bringing you over to the States. Just can you speak to just how strong this sport is back home and, and with fighters like yourself, Carl, and everybody else on your team and, and around the country? Ah, it's crazy. The sport's grown like leaps and bounds back home. Like, pretty much Bellator Dublin is the SPG show at this stage. So, like, it says it all, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, and with this opportunity you have this weekend, you know, not only do you send a message every time you fight, but now being over here in the States, it's an opportunity for you to grow your brand and make the world know about you, you know, just in case they don't know. So how does that feel for you to know that, hey, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to do what I expect to do, and now people on the other side of the world are going to see just how good I am? Yeah, like, realistic, like, everything's in America, it always looks bigger and better. You know what I mean? Like, where you fight the same opponent in Dublin, Anywhere, it was in America, people think it's the biggest, you know what I mean? I saw him was text saying you're fighting in America, that's the top of the sport, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping we had a big win here now Friday night and keep growing and come back, come back and come back. Well, all of Ireland knows about you, I'm sure all of America will know about you. Hopefully very soon. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? You're facing an undefeated prospect from Daddy Sam. How much of your training camp was dedicated to defending the team? Zero. I'll be taking him down. Okay. I'm taking him down. I'm on top of him. He's a real grappling is then. So if it was up to you, where would you like this fight to take place? Standing or on the ground? Him on his back, me on top, elbow on his face in. Thank you. That's what it's going to be. Hi, Richie. Sean Chene here from uh, Severa. Uh, hey, what's up, man? This you come into uh, a fight as a close of the good around you, Bono. You pray and you've got to different places and, and beat lads before. Is that a good mindset for you, internal fight as an underdog? Underdog, the last fight as well, Sean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it. It doesn't make a difference, underdog or not. I mean, it's I'm hard to deal with, so I'm looking forward to it. 
like I don't know why I'm the underdog. We have the same amount of fights. Like okay. I fought high level opponents as well. So that's just someone's opinion, underdog or not. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck people's opinions. Obviously, we have a card coming up here in September again in Ireland, another one in February of next year. You win this fight, you'll be in the rankings. Is it in your head to be the first ever Irish fellow card champion in, the, in the, the run that you're on at the moment? I don't even think that far ahead, Sean. Like, obviously, uh, I think I beat this guy. Like I was said there, no one wants to fight this guy, not fight anybody. So I don't see why I wouldn't be next. You know what I mean? I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be. But like I said, this opponent is first, and then um, we'll go from there. Santiago. Hi, Richie. Thank you for the time. Hey, what's we up, spoke man? to each other in Dublin after your last fight against Piotr, and you said that you had trained in the Netherlands with Salih and Ilias Bulali in Utrecht. Did you get to do a part of your camp there again for uh, this fight? No, for this camp I didn't, unfortunately, just with the way everything played out. But I'll be definitely back to Saeed and Ilias and the guys in Utrecht um, very soon. Thank you. Hey Richie, fun fact for you man, you were 10-0-1 against European and UK based fighters. Once again you matched up with a European fighter. Does that play any factor in how you prepare for a fighter? Or is it just another name? I, I, I didn't even think of it like that. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference where he's from. Like a lot of guys put too much respect to where they're from. It doesn't make a difference. We all bleed the same, so it's a fight. Like, you know what I mean? The best man's gonna win on Friday night. Exactly. Thank Bridgie, and you mentioned he's a very tough opponent in front of you, but what do you think separates you from your opponent in terms of skill and abilities? Um, I just want to keep going forward no matter what happens. Like, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, no matter how good someone is, you're going to get tired. I'm going to keep walking him down, keep standing on him. In my last fight, I was getting hit with everything. I still kept going forward. No back steps once. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I have with things. Just go forward and make it a fight. Nelson. Hey, how's it going, Richie? You've been made a clap for a very good height. How are you doing today? Oh, it's good yourself, man. I'm doing great, man. I just want to give you a props, man. You're one of those guys who always reaches out to the people on Instagram. Um, you actually commented on a lot of my posts uh, about two years ago. No problem. I appreciate that. But this is what I'm here for. Now, this, this is what I'm here for, though, man. Tending to only... Uh, Four and one in the Bellator cage. What changed in your mind into these fights? You're going in to finish these opponents, not just to look for a fight. Well, obviously the goal is always to finish. Like I'm always looking to finish. Sometimes you just can't. The, the guys are just durable. Like it's only 50 minutes in the day. But the, like the goal is, like I fought Peter in Dublin. He was 17 and four, and this guy tomorrow is 12 and 0. Like I'm fighting these guys, beating these guys, and. But I want to fight for the belt, and I'm not looking for the easy fights and to stay on the prelims. I mean, I eventually want to be like up top of the card and fighting for belts. If that's what you have to do, you want to fight for the belts, you have to fight the best guys. Morning. Hey, Richie. Big fight ahead and big opportunity for you fighting around. Where would you see yourself in a promotion with a win here, ranking wise? Number one contender. How else could it be? Like, and the champions beat everybody else pretty much and they're all booked. Number one contender, or we don't know, like, obviously Patricia was fighting and I don't want to think that far ahead, but if I beat Tamar, I don't see why I wouldn't be next or very damn close to being next.